Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to Bubble Hearthing, your righteous retreat to some casual hearthstone. And we are returning to our arena, where we are most victorious. We have yet to falter. We have made misplays, but we have made up for them drastically. And we have made up for them in kind by, by winning. And so let us continue the marvelous run of the Druid of Malfurion. Uh, druids can run, you know that? They ain't just just stuck to the ground. They, they move with the earth. And they they can move quickly, like like you know rock slides. I'll crush you in a rock avalanche. Yeah, that. All right. A lot of dust. Yeah, apparently not a golden shield bear. A golden shield bear gets disenchanted for very little dust, I believe. Um, which is why I still have him. Actually, I haven't crafted a card. Malfurion ah, a hunter. Pressa. All right, shouldn't be too bad. Hunter is usually the the worst arena class, um, unless you get really lucky drops, and you don't usually really get lucky drops. Okay, let's see here. Uh, turn two, that's not really that like, great. You're not really even a really good three. You're a fine four though. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, let's see if we can get better early game cards. Let's do a whole mulligan. Why not? Because we can definitely get a better four drop as well. Let's see, and the verdict is yes, yes, and yes. Oh my god, my deck loves me. You're better. I'm not gonna say you're fantastic, but you're definitely better. And against a hunter, it's, it's not really that great. I mean, it'd be nicer against a mage or a rogue, just because then they'd be like, well, can't use my hero power for much, oh well. Coining out a buzzard, interesting. Very interesting I what okay I'll take that thank you very much you you used your coin and one of your best combo pieces or your best opportunities for value to get something out sure I didn't drop my berserker but you would have drawn a card here anyway so it's better that way yeah, less Wolf Rider into this thing. I don't mind. Get the board clear for a little while. Remember, a later game thing. Drew of the Claw is going to help even things out drastically. And, uh, let's see. Harvest Golem is going to help quite a bit as well. Hmm. Oh, I could place a 3 and a 1. It's not bad. Uh. Actually, then. Let's try something a little different. Morgan Infiltrator. And let's buff him up. Ta da! I like this. I like that play. I think I think that was fancy. I'd like to play my Harvest Call at some point, but this is always a good card. Hmm. Well, it'd be a shame if that was an explosive trap, but there's not really anything I can do against that, so. If it is, then my thing dies. Uh, I wish you had that little three or less attack, but if it did, that would be crazy OP. Alright, uh, let's just head on and see what happens. Oh. Snake trap. Uh, okay. If you insist. Um, let's see, I can go taunt. You should have to buzz it out with that, but oh well. I can go taunt or I can go Kodo. Or I can drop a few other things. Uh, Kodo's not bad. It's going to kill a thing, though. But I don't want to just waste this. Let's... Hmm. hmm. Exactly. I'm almost feeling like the Berserker would be a good call here. I can go Berserker, Harvest Golem. I can go Harvest Golem, Hero Power. I can do a few different things. Um, let's drop the Kodo. Definitely kill a creature, at least. And let's just hit him in the base. He'll have to treat both of his creatures for my worgen. Or maybe he just has an arcane shot, who knows. But we're gonna drop the Kodo. D -d 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 drop the Kodo! Okay. Well, he's only got three mana left, so it's not a... Oh, or he can kill command. That's unfortunate. Is he gonna trade both creatures? There's one... There's two. Alright, at least I got to attack with it. And Kodo killed a creature, so hey. Alright, now with the remaining mana that I have... Ugh, there's... well... I can Dragonling Mechanic and a Wrathy Berserker. And a Mani Berserker. 
I want to drop you early enough that it actually matters. <laughs> Imagine it's with like an Amani Berserker attacking into an explosive trap, being like, well, here's an extra three damage now. That's kind of funny. Um, let's get Dragon Leap. Let's do this, because I want to. That's good reasoning, right? Because these aren't... You're not going to be a very good card later on in the game. It already is later game, but hopefully you can get some better plays out of it now. Is he going to drop Lord of the Arena? Give me a quest. Questing adventure. That'd be nice if you didn't play anything afterwards. But of course you do. Because that's just what makes sense. Hmm. They're all pretty good right here, actually. Eee, Engine of War! Oh my god. And on turn 7, too. Look at that, it knows. See, the Engine of War actually has this very well-timed internal clock that... Yes, okay. Ugh, if you didn't have your poisonous thing, it'd be a great trade for my Berserker. As it is, that is not the case. Um, what to do? Okay. Yeah. I want to clear his board. And then... I think I might throw down, actually, the Golem and the Injured Blade Master. But why, you ask? Because... Possibilities. Yeah, my creatures both would have died either way. Oh wait, I can't throw down both, because I'm, that's how I'm going to clear his board there. Okay, uh, I can play one of these two. Or I can play a Druid with Claw with Taunt. Let's play Taunt. Let's actually get a Taunt out right now. Let's start being a bit more uh, offensive. More offensive, yes. I will mount the offensive. You will not mount this bear, though. This bear will kill you. So don't do that. Interesting. Alright. Well, not much there. And you... That's... Okay, misplay by you. But I'll take it. Unless you want to ram it into the taunt so that then your tiger can kill it next turn. It's not a terrible idea. Yeah, at this point, really what you should do. It's really your only option. Um... <laughs> Well, let's see. I I, I was laughing because I was like, oh, I can just Angel Brewmaster and bring back my Druid of the Claw, but why? I mean, I actually, I could pull it back and then play it again later. Um, let's do that. Yeah. I won't have a taunt creature out. It's actually not a great idea. But I'll have you. And I can throw them both out. It's not a terrible plan. Uh, oof. Hmm. Alternatively, I can send back the Dragonling mechanic and get a few more things out of that. Hmm. What? Options, options, options. I'd rather really just throw it back on an engine of war. I'm gonna hold on to the Brewmaster, to the youthful brewing, and let's do two, two space, and three, and three. There we go. I feel like that was a good way to play the cards. And I I have a fairly aggressive setup right here. I'll gladly trade four, five, you know, four of my health for a hero power to take out his tiger. Okay. Um, that's... Eh, not exactly ideal, but I'll... I'll have to deal, won't I? Unless I get... Oh, well, well, yeah, okay, yeah, um... That... Thank you, deck. I appreciate everything you've done for me. But I, I didn't miss game, but that, it was uh, pretty good. Alright, it uh, doesn't matter which way you trade, we're going to lose both these creatures. We'll do that. I actually probably should have traded the other way. Oh well. Just because of that. Did I mention I'm in a huge advantage? Like, I have a huge advantage in this game right now. Ancient of War is almost definitely coming down next turn. Your turn to bleed. That, that's my best impression of a harvest uh -huh. golem. Oh, wow. He took a secret keeper? Well, he did have the one thing, the snake trap. That was really all. Alright, he took out the blade master. Cause, oh, because it had charge, right. Okay. What are you going to do now? Can it hit me in the face? Okay. I have zero issues with this. Ooh, I can nourish, but I think it's better to just play an Ancient of War right now. Um, definitely rooted, otherwise it'll die. 
Somehow. Somehow it'll find a way to die immediately. It always will. That's the rule. Alright, um... Sure, a little bit of value there. A little bit of value there. I'd like to... I'd like to have been able to take out his, uh, Stampeding Kodo. Tundra Rhino. I forgot what the Kodos were called. I thought there was more than one Kodo. Uh, well, he can charge that out, but what's the point, really? He won't even be able to kill his best, like, to get the most damage out, he'll run his Rhino into my taunt and then run his, uh, slightly powered up Hyena into it as well. It's a 4-3. Congratulations, you... Yeah, you're not even gonna bother. Okay. Um, cool. Questing? Give me a quest. quest much? And then nourish? Yeah, because I can still hero power. And harvest golem into his creature. Mark of the Wild. Not bad. Actually, very good. Alright, let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll trade the golem. I don't really mind that at all. A little bit of health for a lot of win. And look at that. Look look at this. Look at this deck. I can't granted we did get a little low. I mean King Crush would actually kill me right now. Because it'd be eight for an eight eight with charge. And that would that would suck. <laughs> oh no, because I have because I have my taunt, of course. King Crush would fail. There we go. Okay, another win. Oh, 4 and 0. Oh. What's that? I'm 4 and 0. Oh. What time is it? Oh, it's just 4 0 oh, clock. Yep. That's the time. I really don't know what time it is. Iron Bark time. I didn't get any of these guys, but that's okay because I got Ancient of Wars, which is so much better. So much better. Okay. Cool. Didn't get to play the Brewmaster, but that's alright. That's okay. Oh, also, I have this Only the Mighty quest going in the background. I was going to make a DQ video for that, but it would take so long to get, like, 20 of these big minions out. You can only get, like, maybe two or three a game, and, like, it's, it'd take a while. So, I figured I'd just do it by winning in the arena. Yes. 4-0. and What you going to go? I'm 4-0. and I'm going to go 12-0. and If I do, that'd be amazing. Second arena run ever, and, and but but I don't want to I don't want to get ahead of myself just yet. That that's like way ahead of myself. Alrighty, I'm gonna see if I can fit three games into this episode. Cause I've only been doing two, but I'd like to get more. I don't know. It depends. I don't know how long people really want to watch videos for. Maybe I'll just stick with two. Hey 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 hey! Look at this! Look at this! You see this? I can get a well. Shield Master isn't as good as the Yeti. But I can get an early Shield Master. Which is good. Follow it up turn two with whatever the heck I want to follow it up with. And then turn three Golem. Or if my Shield Master is looking really bad, then I can turn three Cleric. I, I like it. Okay, I'm actually going to keep this hand. Usually when I get Innervate. I don't always get Innervate, but when I do... I go second. No. But when I do, I like it. Innervate out the Wolf Rider. Yes. Maximum value. Alright, um, let's see. Alternatively, I can just play Innervate and go Harvest Golem, turn two, um, Cleric, turn three, Rider, turn four. Hmm. 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 Yes, we agree. Is it too early to play Shield Master? The tricky thing is I don't have a turn two play. I might want to save that. Um, let's do that other option that I had, actually. Innervate out the goal. This gives me a more smooth curve. It lets me pass over turn three. I mean, pass over turn two. I prefer this option. Because remember, druids are steady. Eh, that's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. I can definitely trade there, or, hey, look at this. Coin out a cleric. Uh, do I want to get a cleric or a wolf rider? Tr ride a trader. I want to get a cleric. It's another, another body on the field. And let's trade his creature, because if I don't, then he gets better trades out of it that way. And this will probably tie up two of his mana, pinging down the, uh, the golem, which means he'll only be able to do that. There we go, do it. 
Nope. Do you gotta play something else? Brewmaster, okay. So my golem gets two hits. Awesome. Um, or I can wolf rider it. Uh, I don't really need to wolf rider it though. Um, but let's, well, I kind of wolf rider. I want to wolf rider him and then hit him in the face. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Golem's still getting great value. There we go, and let's drop the wolf rider just because, and hit him in the face with it. I'm out to a very solid advantage. And look at this, four, two fours and a five. That's fantastic. Really? Really? A mana addict? You're gonna kill the wolf rider? I, I hope. Okay, it's not like rage golem kill. Oh, Ancient of War. Oh, you, you look so nice right now. I wish returning the damaged golem would give me the full golem, but that'd be a little overpowered. So, let's hit. And hit. I don't see myself having to reuse the Kodo. So I'm gonna Brewmaster my Cleric. To save its buff for another turn. It is less likely that they're gonna ping down the damage golem now because it's not as significant. Whereas if I had left the Cleric there, it would have been kind of bait for a, uh, another card. Ooh! Ooh! What's that? What's that, Kodo? Did you say that you wanna do something else with your life? Yeah, I understand. No, options are this. Actually, I can just trade pretty well here. Um, mm, Kodo kills the squire, though. Play the Kodo when you can. That's what I'm going to say. Get the get the advantage there when it's possible. I still have plenty of targets for Mark of the Wild afterwards. Um, Another round. Uh, do I want to hit his creature? I don't really want to. I can afford not to. I just have to be careful next turn. I have a good setup for next turn in case he does like fireball or something. Although I don't, he shouldn't be able to. What's that? He just drew it. Cone of cold. Oh, that's not a big deal at all. Frostbolt. Okay. That, that's fine with me. I don't mind. Look at that. Oh, it, you're cool. I'll take that. Okay. Hero power. Go. Kill this creature. Great. Alright, with the mana I have left over, I can Berserker. I kind of want a Berserker because then I can mark the wild it in case he plays anything kind of weaker next turn. Uh, on the other hand, I would like to Shield Master, but he's not really going to get anything that huge. Let's go Berserker. Let's kind of keep it as a little sleeper cell. I feel like this is fine. My health is fine in terms of like how they see if this is a oh, oh there you go okay you missed something there that's great for me oh I can give it mark of nature too I can just give it like bonus health I don't need to give it damage though otherwise it's not gonna well I can just hero power into something and I don't mind doing that at all um four health and taunt or two two and taunt I'm not worried about the damage at all so let's Mark of Nature, but what the? Oh, because it, it, it's split. I'm like, shouldn't I have to target a creature with that? Yeah, let's do four health taunt. There you go. The Worgen is obviously the more dangerous of the two, and luckily the Enrage doesn't actually do anything significant. Unfortunately, there's my turn, and he is able to run both of his creatures into it. Well, this creature and his hero power. But it would have traded well. Or will it? Fireball! Hey, look at that! Six damage. Not going to my face. Not ideally spent at all, which is ideal for me, for him to be less ideal than ideal. Alright. Hello. Did you say Boulder Fist? Because I said Boulder Fist. And let's just use that on it right now. Maybe a little reckless? Possibly. I think it's a good idea, though. It takes it out of, like, fireball ping range. He would have to use a pyroblast on it. Which you can't do, because it's not even turn 10 yet. He can chicken it. Is he gonna chicken it? I haven't seen a polymorph come down yet this, th this game. But I'm not too worried about one, especially when I have something like this. My health is fine. Another berserker. Not bad. Um... I'm going to hit him in the face. The question is, do I want to play a Cleric? Um, why not? We'll get an extra point of damage out. 
We must cleanse the Undo his ping. There we go. He ha he basically has no hope of winning next turn. Um, he'll have to kill that, and if he does, I'll play this, and I'll hit him in the face again. Oh my. Schmetterling. I hope I didn't just like curse at you in like Swahili or something. I don't know. Schmetterling. Alrighty. Oh, I see you. That's right. I saw you. Flame strike. You kill one creature. Congratulations. Uh, and honestly, I should have been more wary of it, but I'll have to trade both of his creatures into it. His hero power can kill the uh, the shield master, so that's not bad. That's fine. Hello! Well played. This Rocketeer well played. knows when... Th th my deck just understands me. It gets me. Thank you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. I destroyed you. Okay. Wow. 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 Look at that. I'm going to get that soon, too. Five and oh. Never would I have imagined. Wow. Okay. Uh, also, I did read somewhere that it's set seven wins that you get your um, gold back. You, you're guaranteed to, uh, to, you know, profit off of the arena. So, wow. One more, please. I was worried. I was like, I know why I decide to make a video... With three games in it, I'm gonna lose all three. I'm like, well, that's the end of the round. I thought the druid was good, but no, no, I am, I am winning. I am winning solidly against the hunter. I got kind of low, but I was able to maintain a good board. I am a little reckless with my health, but that's the only one I have the advantage already. So it's, I feel like it's a safe thing to do. Alfurian. Besides, health doesn't matter. Health doesn't change the board at all. Having low health is actually beneficial in many more situations. Um, with certain cards. I don't actually have them, but it could be seen as beneficial. Alright, uh, don't want these two. I don't really want to wait three turns to get a Blade Master out, which is somewhat lackluster. Mm. Alright, come on deck, bring me the cards that I so desire. Yes, yes, look. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's okay. I don't need a turn one play. I don't mind. Play a Berserker. Next turn. See if he lightning bolts it or something. Here we go. That's good. He's able to take out any totem he has. Hopefully he'll get like a flame spitter totem. If he if he totems, of course. Rainy. Well, you could be anyone. Uh, <laughs> Stormforge Dax? Okay. You're gonna hit me? You Earth Earth Shock. It has to be like an Earth Shock or something. Elven Archer, okay. You know, there's no reason why you would just enrage my creature and say, okay, have a good day. Uh hmm. Oh, obvious play right here. Hero Power Worgen, okay. I was like, well the Wolf Rider. Hmm. Okay, cool. Uh alternatively I guess I could have Wrathed. Wrath Worgen, but I don't really think Wrathing a it's, it's not worth it there. Uh, no. Not at all. Be my guest. Need all you want. Uh, let's see. Hero power again, I suppose? I'm just gonna hit him in the face with this thing. I'm not even gonna, like, hold back. Um, I could give it Mark of the Wild. Uh, I think hero power... Do I want to wrath it, though? That's the question. No. Let me use my hero power again. Save wrath for something if I, in case I have to do three damage instead. Sit him there. Do I want to give this thing taunt? And plus two, plus two? Yeah, I want to use up his Twins of the Stormforge Axe is really the big thing there. Um, Wolf Rider will definitely take care of some of that. Hidden taunt. Not so hidden. Next turn, I can, like, Golem Wrath. Wolf Rider Wrath in case I have to get out a quick five damage. Oh, shant it. You do realize the play you just made, my friend, is somewhat less than ideal. I'm gonna wrath this creature, actually. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was thinking, it's like, I can just do this and then, then hit it, and then my creature would die. 
but then I can wrath it. What drawback? What what death? Look at that. I have bite, which is amazing removal. Uh, and an ancient brewmaster, which is great. Let's see. I'm gonna silence it, and then you're gonna use your weapon. Yes. That's right. Use them weapon swings. Just keep on swinging. Oh no, you healed two health. Why am I not concerned? Okay. Uh, Wolf Rider, definitely. Into the spell. Spellbreaker? Your magic shall not hold me. Alright, and... Hero, or do I just want to drop the Golem? He has one more swing with his axe. That'll do two damage. Uh, how many buffs does a Shaman have? They have Rockbiter, which isn't really that big a deal. It's a one-turn buff. They have what? Flame Tongue, Flame Tongue Totem. That's what I'm thinking. Um, which isn't a problem at all. So I don't have any taunt. That was the deciding factor. <laughs> Usually, when I do that, it's okay because I have a Shield Master or an Ancient of War, which I'll probably draw next turn because they come exactly when I can play them. Um. Raptor? Alright, so that's a fair that's actually a better call for the Stormwind Knight. Which is definitely what I'll play. Use his hero ability. Oh, that's that. Okay. Well, we can uh questing Stormwind Knight. The questing adventure is going to draw out an attack. A swing of both of his creatures. Or he can actually use his uh Stormforged axe to kill my Stormwind Knight. This is baiting out his last swing. That's exactly what it is. Ooh, you think you're scary. Quest failed. failed? No, 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 it's okay. I don't blame you. A little late, but that's not a problem. Alright, so I can do four, five, six. I don't have a very good use of my mana, but I'm gonna kill his thing that's like guaranteed there. Ta da! I'm sorry, did I, did I just take one damage from that? Yeah, kind of did. Unfortunately, he does have a bit of a card advantage. He has three to my... Two. Well, three... Uh, f five to my three. Oof, okay. Um, Unbound Elemental could be worrisome. Could be if he has like a lightning storm or something. I think I'll probably play the Brewmaster and the Harvest Golem. Double. I'm I'm set. I don't even have to worry about. A, I don't have to worry about a thing. Don't you worry about a thing, cause I'm awesome. I can even do that and hero power into his um, into his flame spitter. So that's great. Put it on your tab. Put it on my tab. There we go. There we go. And that, my friends, is how it's done. I have little doubt in my mind that his hand has more value than mine right now. True, he has five cards in his hand, and I only have two, but my two are worth about six total, you know, combined. I figure each one of these is worth three. Oh, okay. Doesn't concern me too much, I don't know. I do feel I need to get a taunt out first. No, not first. I do need to get a taunt out, but let's first kill his round. abomination. Which will wipe out his totems. And I can trade there. He That was a horrible play by him. Just throwing that out there, that was really bad. Let's see if I can bait a hex out with a boulder fist. See if he's got a hex. Wow, he really didn't have good timing with that abomination. I didn't even think about it, really. I was like, well, I have to kill it. And then suddenly the board just cleared up. And and the vision was clear. And I could see what the cards wanted me to do. Farseer? Not a concern. There's a hex. Okay, cool. That's fine. I don't mind hex. All right, uh, let's see. And right here, let's do what we gotta do. Let's kill his earthen ring. And get rooted. There we go. Now he has the choice of either killing the frog or the engine of war. Hopefully he doesn't have another hex. Odds are he he might. 
<laughs> Odds are there's a possibility that he might have drafted more than one hex, I don't know. But do I mind? Not in the least. Uh, Druid of the Claw. Ooh. Five, I can get another five damage out real quick. Bring him down to eight health. If I charge, of course, with the Druid of the Claw. Um... The question here is, do I worry about his totems? I'll I'll kill his little totem. I'll hit him in the face of the big guy, though. Uh, unless Blade Master, I can actually draw the claw with that as well. That's nine damage. So we'll put you in bear form. Otherwise, I'd worry about like totem uh, lightning storm. If you got the. Wrath of Air Totem, which he didn't. Oh, I got a Taunt Totem, that's pretty good too. Hey, Lightning Storm, look at that! I'm so good! I'm so good at this! Lava Burst? Another Lightning Storm, ooh! Do two damage, do two damage please, yes! Okay. Yes. Ugh. The only issue is that I can't get through his Taunt, otherwise I'd have... Would I have game? No, I wouldn't. I have nine damage on the field. Um, but the, the game is just about in my hands right now. Um, I want to play Cleric. Do I want to... I gotta, I gotta hit his thing. It's really unfortunate, but I'd have to. Okay, let's hit him in the face. I, I, I hate when they start moving back and forth like that, because I never know which one's where. Um... Of course. Actually, we can use this to take care of this guy. I didn't even think about this. Cleric. Okay, good. Gets you out of, like, death range for next turn. And look at this! Ah! Light just cracked. Oh my god, why would you do that to me? Leg! You're trying to cripple me. You're saying this arena run is not meant for you. Stop it! But I'm like, no, Leg! I will lose you before I lose a game. See, do you have anything you can do? Why is like... Did he overload for something last turn? Oh, he played double lightning storm. And he's like tied up a bunch of his mana. Awesome. Okay, I was like, why does he only have four after playing a totem? Totems don't cost six. Oh, yes. Oh, the victory. The victory is most sweet. Seven. Seven, six. Oh, that's still six. Sorry. Six wins, though. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh yes, I gotta stop this video here before I just like punch the screen out of sheer enjoyment. It, it's that thing is a guy thing. You're like I'm so happy, and now I'm sad. But okay, cool. Oh my, I will continue this in another video. Wow, wow, just wow. Okay, hope you enjoyed this, Druid. Oh, uh, fighting. I can retire the Druid. <laughs> no, this is fighting for my like spot in the favorite uh, class right now, just because I'm gonna have such fond memories. Okay, um. But tune in for the next episode, where hopefully I go, like, 9-0, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, fingers crossed. And until next time, this is Bubble Herthing, signing out.